can I just can I just ask you something as well? I've Great. I've spent two and a half hours today and six journeys so far, and it's going to be another journey uh, and back again, waiting for this man to come and look at the meter. And a week ago, I spent two and a half hours driving around St Albans after having again been given the wrong information about which post office uh, and shop can supply cash. Remember, they will only take cash. I can't pay my card. I have had so many problems with it. It stopped working because I paid £250 and there was still £5.50 in it, so it wouldn't work. Then, this time round, after being given a code because my £250 went missing, I went back to put the key in the electricity, but I couldn't put any more money in because it wasn't down enough. So my one of my tenants who doesn't drive has had to walk has had to wait till the electricity goes right down before she can put another £200 in. It's eating up my electricity like crazy, which is fine. The, the money at this stage is not the issue. The issue is the amount of running around I am having to do to find a cash point. The local Sainsbury's cash point doesn't work. And my friend on foot has to go and, you know, find cash and then walk to the post office. It's And I'm reasonably fit and healthy compared to elderly people with no money i mean this is just fucking insane this is insane sorry 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 say that again yes i've raised a complaint with british gas so complaint handler will make contact with you I cannot keep up with this complaint because it's going from bad to worse to hilarious to I fucking give up. Um, it's just crazy. I have thrown hundreds and hundreds of pounds that are not coming up on the meter. And we're now on three pence worth of meter. I hope that by, I've got three hours. So my tenants are going to be without electricity and I have put hundreds of pounds in. It's just, it's just insane. Um, and so uh, you better add to the complaint today because I can't keep up with it. It's it's a joke. It's beyond a joke. <laughs> um, you know, I've come back for, from Brighton to sort this out and I thought I was coming back to some sort of, you know, oh, yeah, we've got a £250 credit because it disappeared. You know, it's all sorted and I've come back to the same farcical circus show again. <laughs> you know, I'm sitting here in my car now. I've got to go and sit and just wait for two hours for this guy to turn up because you know and the place is i have a flood i had a flood in my place so there's the dryers all there um i'm going to be moving in the next few days so i've got to sit in my car now outside my house for two hours i mean it's just crazy anyway have a lovely day you haven't i hope everything comes right and you have an awesome day so, so. i'm gonna book a holiday <laughs> you deserve one yeah, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.